you don't notice any specific change. There is not as if uh, we are going to have increase in the number of troops on the road, no additional checkpoints, no roadblocks. It is all intelligence-led. And at the end of the day, uh, because we are extending it to other parts of the country, doesn't mean there is going to be any change. It's still going to be intelligence-led based on credible information and intelligence. Operation areas, the military will have and some rights to do some of those things. If there is an operation going on in the Northeast and they feel that they have to identify certain individuals, we will not say it is wrong once it is within an operational scope. But our fear is that for you to make it a whole nationwide thing, where even the op there are no operations, then that becomes fearsome. That, that's our fear. That becomes the area that we say it's supposed to be for the police, for the migration, and what have you. But like the, in the Northeast, it has been declared an area for insurgents, and that if the military would like to do that, we wouldn't say it is no. But when you now extend it nationwide and you put it dead, then it becomes apprehensive, we become fearful, and that is why we will ask the military, uh, well, they are trying to do some of the things. On terms, in terms of identification, they should be cautious and wait until we take a decision on that and we get back to it. The last person went talk, now the majority leader for the House of Representatives, and before him, and a person will be say they represent the Nigeria army. The person they represent the Nigeria army don't come out, come talk, say, eh, no difference go there. I just say, okay, well, this result, when they won't achieve, then they follow and small, small to see, say, then get the result. But like in talk, and like we talk for the first part, say the fear of, say, ah, we don't they see so that people know, then they ask why the car do, why are not they here like he did for some other places? Why he be say they can't fool our streets? Now, why we talk, say, this particular package, so, now solution to the problem, now we go to discuss. Uh, with me inside the studio, I still get honorable, like I describe, and person where we say, he loves this our country where we and he don't give in all in service to our great country. In a person where we say, they'll talk, say, he be statesman and he be patriot. And they talk of honorable Ayodele Thomas Fadei. Honorable, once again, uh, I greet you. Welcome to our I, studio. I salute you. And we also get a uh, retired Air Commodore Balogun, he also go follow us. They took out still on top of this issue. They discuss solution to the problem when we say with the face. Make a no waste, make a just go straight to a uh, retired Air Commodore Balogun. A uh, retired Air Commodore Balogun, uh, the, the soldier man been talk about say, no shaking, no fear. Uh, the leader of uh, the House of Representatives been also talk say, <laughs> fear the dead people mind though, because some people go look say, uh, this one where we say the kind menace when they use for northeast, where everybody agrees, say Begede, when I won't carry and come this particular place. Make we talk. Why you think say people they always they look our soldier people them or our military people and then they fear them? What it be that thing where they make them they fear they fear them? Uh, based on the way when technology they do now. <laughs> Honorable, they say now you go answer the question first. Technology say no, now you must answer the question. Why people, they always they fear our military people, especially? Fear of unknown. Fear of unknown. Yes. But there be women being too now. You cannot predict them. Hmm. Meaning say with them anything can happen. Anything can happen. But like you don't talk. Accidental discharge can happen. Hmm. But like you talk, you say we don't spend plenty of money from our country pocket yes. to train them. Yes. That training is supposed to make them... No. A lot of them lack discipline. Hmm. You see, I was telling you that I work under this, I work under that. During the war regime, I worked there at the Dedan hmm. Under Jogaba. Hmm. Yes, they call the department think tank. Mm. headed by Professor Sagi, and uh, my director then was uh, AZ, Alessi Wokedi, mm. was my director. I work under him. Mm. That was under Gowan. Mm -hmm. When Muritala was a federal commissioner for communication, before the, the, our school, mm. Jogaba told me when he saw a young officer coming from Mami Market towards that uh, uh, the Edinburgh, Smoking hmm. with his bereton. He called him and he punished him. He said, if you want to smoke, you remove your beret and put it on your shoulder. Uh, honorable no so I know say this discipline. <laughs> and I know yes. say our our parents them. That that beret symbolizes uh, discipline. Discipline. No, no verse. Make I make I just carry the question, go back to a uh, retired air commodore. A retired air commodore, plenty of people they look say. Hey, 
These are our army people there. We know we the way when they behave, we know we know if we trust them or we, we they fear them or hey, what do you think say they make people they fear our military people? Now you go answer and where where? Uh, yeah, now he be like say still yes. still still technology. Yes, uh, but technology. but we go we go see arrange up. You don't talk about discipline. Yes. And uh, how we go take fifty say that discipline? It, it really be something where we say then they then they then they, 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 they disciplined and the work when they want me then do nine then go focus and nine then go do. You see, they mix the whole thing with enjoyment mm. while on duty. The thing don't come. Duty is supposed to be duty. Uh. Enjoyment is supposed to be a uh, enjoyment. Uh. But they mix the whole thing together. Mm. They will go there, go take a beer down in the official hour with the uniform. And after taking two, three bottles of uh, something with uh, some other things, they start misbehaving. Mm. Yes. It is the truth, nothing but the truth. If you want, if you want an army officer to work for, for the country properly, feed them well, don't let them mix. Take them from the barracks to their duty post. And you can bring them back so that you control their movement. And under a very, very disciplined officer, that will supervise them. Mm. It is the truth. You see, them, some, some of them, even, they even misbehave to their wives at home. Mm. They treat their wives as uh, the animal. Mm. So because that's the sim that is the symbol that when they get outside, they will misbehave totally. Mm. It is true. It is true. Mm. They got no respect for people's life. Mm. Uh, uh, but honorable, uh, the way when the matter don't day now, yes, angels no go come from heaven, come help us do the thing where we say they're supposed to. Um, Thank you. Training and retraining. Mm. Training and retraining. Yes, training and retraining and retraining. Mm. Make I just control this one. Give a uh, retired air commodore Balogun training and retraining and retraining. Uh, retired air commodore Balogun. Uh, our honorable year don't emphasize on the importance of training, especially for people when we say the things when they expect of them are things of excellence. And make we look the way when we say our military arrangements there now and the kind of training when they receive. Based on say you get experience for there, uh, which advice you go give to say, okay, oh, this thing's good, make we do them like this, so that their training go the standard. This thing's no good, make we come out them, so that the thing go there better. And the result what we expect from them. After we don't spend our country money on them, we go to see the results. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, the honorable day correct. Uh, training and retraining. Na part of the things we were supposed to they do. Uh, but you know, when you did now an emergency period we did. Yes. The same people you want to train are the same people where we they use to fight. So as we don't talk and before, say you get people where you don't already train. Why you no use those people where you don't spend money to train? Mm. While training the fresh ones and the ones that need retraining. In my own opinion, to me, I think the thing we're supposed to do now four things. The first one we say our national defense policy. We we need we get to sit down, make we look up. Now, so they say, make we do them. If not be so, make we make amen. Mm. The next one now be our national security architecture. How is supposed to be? Who's supposed to be number one? Number two, who's supposed to do this? Who's supposed to do that? Is they inside that book? Are we following it? Mm. Now, there's another book where we call Joint Defense Doctrine. Now, it will teach you how everybody go work and then you come out with one, one aim and achieve one uh, uh, objective. But today, everybody, they do your own. You mm. cannot work. You have to be together to succeed. Now, we need to also bring our civilian. Because, like you said earlier, the military alone no go fight the war. Now, all of us, now the civilian go get information. 
we then go give the military. Because most of these people are civilians and they live within the civilian. So when civilians decide, say, we want to help military because it's our collective effort, then we go get them. Mm. Then the issue where I first talk about the retirees, we need to bring them in. There are plenty, mm. both the armed forces and even police. There are plenty everywhere. When we lack police, bring more in. You get the time where even if soldiers retire, they feel go join police. Because the job of police sometimes is not as hectic as the army work. So if they are too tired and you don't think you can employ them in combat, take them to, to the police. Nigeria has trained them. That's they can it. do the job. Today, you see all the later retirees. They are looking for security job to do mm. with private companies. Mm. Meanwhile, you can use them to, uh, to improve the police, the strength of the police. So that will be my contribution. Uh, retired uh, Commodore Balogu, thank you very much for this uh, uh, better advice where we say you don't carry on. Uh, Honorable, we can bring it back to you. We all know, say, for democracy, uh, everything will consign uh, uniform and boots that they put on for one corner because now I'm glad that they rain. Uh, Femi Falano, when be senior man for law work, he, he, he got caught. He said, Nalayo, Say this thing when we say our army people, then they do. Eh, not be their work. Uh, come and they ask people for ID card, all those guys. Say the thing. Aside from saying they put fear for people's mind, it just be like say, those people when we say now nah, they rework when they're supposed to do. You know, they allow them, they do them. Eh, make we even leave, say, matter their courts now. Make we come face the problems. Some people for Nigeria don't complain, say, most times will they run away from the problem. We go talk, say, yes, eh, now because of saying nah, this, now nah, why we won't do them like this, they will run. Make I ask you. This other uh, joint body of our security for this country, for example, police, civil defense, uh, immigration, customs, all of them, how we go take fee and ensure, say, then they standard, then they do their work well, so that at the end of the day, we no go carry police work, they give army, immigration work, they give army, customs work, they give army, NSCD work, they give army, even Babalao work, give army. How we go take fee and ensure, say, everybody go do their work well and do and make with the see results. Then I say we go sack all their guard them or sack all of them. Go recruit new people enter again. Thank you very much. The name of this uh, program now Coco, Coco of the Matter. Of the Matter. True. You mentioned all these uh, 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 military and paramilitaries. Mm -hmm. They are approaching now on a Kayo Kayo job than they do. Ah. Kayo Kayo job. Yes. Ah. Yes. Now Kayo Kayo job. I'm very bold to say. I'm never afraid of anything. But no vessel. Our president now, former military general. The man is doing his job. He dedicated, dedicated uh, some. He himself cannot be chief of army staff, chief of the navy, chief of. The people, he said it. He said the people that I trusted, but most of them betrayed the trust. Do you know what they are after? Mm. The uh, budget court. Is the truth? Budget court. They are looking after that when they retire, they must live in mansion, their children and children, grandchildren and uh, how much is their salary? Mm. 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 Yes, how much is their salary? Mm. Recently, you know, something happened before the election where the chief judge, uh, you know, not me or something, was but the man confessed. A, a, a lot of things like that is happening. Mm. It, it is the truth. Mm. But one thing I know, they say, if you want, we, you see, if, if the military, both retired though and serving, if they want to win this Boko Haram war, within three months, they can win it all. Mm. It's within three I'm, months. Within three months. Uh, uh, honorable, just you go, I could just like make you wait. Hey, make I go meet uh, retired Air Commodore Balogun. Retired Air Commodore Balogun. Hey, this good news when we say honorable just give us right. now. It means say uh, he get confidence and belief in our military people. Say they get the I go speak English capacity and capability. Yes. To use 
she says security for this country, the team makes sense. Yeah. But this year, make them 10 years since we don't they fight Boko Haram. Make I ask you, you also agree with Honorable say, if indeed we won't find solution to this problem, if we do the right thing, in three months, we go see results. Uh, you don't talk, huh? you say, if we do the right thing, mm. the right thing plenty to do. Oh yeah, give us because, some of this uh, right thing. The right thing, manpower, mm, manpower, equipment, equipment, welfare, welfare, logistic, logistic. If we get all that in place, and everybody where they take part in the operation decide to work together, if you know it three months, sir. Mm. But until we address those issues, we can be like this forever. Hey, forever. But we need to tell ourselves the truth. It's possible. Hey. We need to tell ourselves the truth. Are we at war or we are at peace? If we agree that we are at war, all our energy, not just the military, everybody's energy should be focused on that war. It is after the war that we can face other things. Mm. But right now, some people believe we are not at war. Mm. So if you are not at war, the support that you give to the military is minimal mm. on the surface. You just say, okay, let them continue. But if you want them to finish, they will sit down and tell you what they need to finish it right away. And if you provide it as a nation, they will do it. Mm. So it pass uh, just assuming that it is mm -hmm. possible or the willpower. Uh, uh, you must have the equipment, the, all the requirements. Uh, uh, retired yeah. Air Commodore. The, in fact, this is the way you don't talk. Uh, may, may I just, I go just summarize and say, according to what you don't talk, oh, uh, we need meal, meal mm. to take, resolve this issue. You talk, say, manpower, yes. equipment, logistics. welfare, and logistics. Yes. Everybody went in the house, make gonna write this thing down. Yes. The solution to this is our problem. We're not going to travel, go Israel or, or Mecca, go find the solution. Oh, manpower, equipment, welfare, logistics, we we'll go find solution. Now, make we come, they bring this thing to the end of this program. So I go ask one one question. Honorable, I go start with you. You, na person, when we say you don't do lawmaker work for yes. this country, yes. meaning say, you know, say, we need to get better law for this country, for country to stand out, because country where law, no, the confusion will enter. Which advice you will give our lawmakers then for this country, for the State House of Assembly, for the Federal, uh, for the uh, National Assembly, to make strong, strong laws? We go ensure, say, our security people, them, whether Navy or Air Force or police or NNCDC or all of them, they go get better manpower go there, better equipment go there, their welfare go make sense, and logistics go there strong. I beg, give them advice because you're not a senior man for lawmaker business. Thank you very much, Chukudi. You see, we have enough law mm. that can the, that the country can use, that can operate on. But you see, there is a lot of greedy people at the end of affairs now. Mm. Yes, not true what they tell you. Security fund, mm. no auditor can audit it. And they don't give account to, even to the House of Assembly. Mm. Yes, the local government council chairman cannot even give a account of the security fund they collected. Mm. How much less the governor? How mm. much less the president? Mm. But this present president, where they are, and the vice president, they are a team, I will mm. explain to you. Mm -hmm. You see that president, Muhammad Buhari. Are you with me? Mm. It's a recognition of Amadou uh, yeah, yeah, Aminu Kano. Mm. Aminu Kano fought for Talakawa while he was alive. Mm. This man, Muhammad Buhari, is fighting for Talakawa. Eh. Yes. But in the London, oh, in the, oh, but in the London now. Ah. Nah. They no, collect school No, be Agbalagba. Now Agbalagba is okay. supposed to enjoy something now. Okay. The home is hot. He has to go and cool down somewhere. Okay. So why, uh, look at you, like a uh, vice president. It's a recognition of Awolowo. Eh. Yes. But you know Awolowo was so brilliant when he was alive? Awolowo was a big book. 
But they don't be pastor. Spiritual pastor. Mm. Awudowo was not ordained as a pastor, but he was a disciplined spiritual pastor to, to Yoruba land. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Mm. His principle then guided Yoruba to the ends of development. Mm. That is on that side. You see, the issue as of now, mm. as of now in this country, mm. if you want, all of us, it's a collective thing, you know? It's a collective thing. I salute uh, 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 Colonel uh, uh, Commodore Balogun. Mm. You see, it's, he split the whole thing, logistics and everything, everything, mm. everything. Those people at the National Assembly, are they really willing to help in solving this problem? And most of these uh, army officers there, yeah. mm. you know how much they were making? Mm. Do you know how much they are making? What about the NEMA? Refugee, emergency, national emergency, something. Do you know how much they are making? Each of them. Mm. They don't want this something to end. Mm. Because they cannot account for the money in which they are making. They cannot. Security vote, you don't ask questions. Mm. 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 This one way you don't talk, eh? it don't really show, say, if we put importance on security, Everything will concern security. Our law will concern and go there very, very strong. Yes. Uh, make I just uh, ask a uh, retired Air Commodore Balogun before we carry Waka Kobot inside studio. Uh, retired Air Commodore uh, Balogun, uh, with the entire new year now for 2020, uh, I go just like make you just summarize because time no day. Briefly, just give us some of the new approach where you suppose like make uh, we, we carry. To you see, say, whether positive identification or whether all the different operation when our soldier people them they carry for different parts of this country, whether the intelligence of uh, our uh, chief of uh, army staff, uh, the, all of them, commander in chief of the armed forces, so that we will see results and at the end find solution to this problem. Uh, just help us with idea. Okay, <clears throat> thank you. As uh, we no get time again, I no go feel going to all those details, but then. Uh, my own opinion, what I think we should do as a nation or as a people, we have enough laws in Nigeria, mm -hmm. but we still have plenty of lawlessness because we don't have anybody to enforce such laws. All of us are lawbreakers. Mm. Now, I think we have to adopt other ideas because since the laws are not working, I think we should engage psychology to preach to all of us. We should talk to our conscience and tell ourselves that we should do the right thing always. If you have that behind your mind that I want to do the right thing today, every other thing will fall in place. Mm -hmm. If I can take us back during this same President Buhari as a, 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 a general, yes. he introduced war against discipline. Mm -hmm. Yes, we killed it. But the idea then, everybody was following it. If you see somebody misbehaving, you will shout, why? And that person will go back mm. and do the right thing until we remove the same president. Now, I think we need something like that to reorientate ourselves and tell Nigerians, this country can be great, but we have to do it ourselves. It's not the lawmakers alone. They yeah. can't do it alone. Mm. So it should be our collective effort. Mm -hmm. I think we should always be doing the right thing uh, and all shall uh, be well. Retired Air Commodore Balogun, thank you very much. Say you put them out inside this discussion and you don't use your intelligence and experience. You tell us, say, if we do the right thing, we'll go see solution. Honorable Thomas Ayodele Fadei, thank you, say you find time to come sit down with us inside the studio too, to chuck my inside. I won't pray for me too, I know the pastor, but make I just uh, tap into the anointing of Baba Wolowo. And uh, uh, make, I make I just leave and go, Baba Olawo. God go keep una, una wisdom, you know, go finish. Yeah. And all the kind idea owner they give this country and our leaders them, una will continue to they give us, we appreciate. Our people when they house, when they watch us, we also appreciate una. If una know they watch, uh, 7 30 on Tuesdays and Thursdays go be a waste of time. What we like as una they talk, but we remember what our Ubunga visitors them don't talk. This country belongs to all of us, and now together we go work to see, say, 
this our country go the permanent site until we come back again uh, next week tuesday and thursday with the story when we say we're going to discuss based on the cocoa of the matter una bye bye my name na to enjoy more of this our go get videos when you just watch press this button to subscribe on top of our youtube page you go love her